Hey guys, this is Roman on Fire here. Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a UI scaling tutorial. So what I mean by UI scaling, I'm going to show you guys how to make every single GUI that you have on your game on the screen fit on every device and quickly and correctly position itself too. So let's say we have a text label and let's say for our game, this is like our menu or something. So let's just make this bigger. So we just set the scale. We're setting the offset to like a huge size. And then this is about how big it is for a computer. And let's say we want to make it so that this fits on all devices. So if you go to test and you go to emulator, you can view this on, you can view your uh, screen GUIs on, on all the devices they have available for Roblox. So let's say you're playing your game on your iPhone 5. This is what it would look like. It would not fit into the device. So I'm going to show you guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make images and GUIs fit on there. So yeah. So this is what it looks like for like a VGA. VGA. It's like too small. And then for this, it's like the perfect size. And for like an Xbox, same size. So yeah. I'm going to show you guys how to fix this problem. So this is a very simple thing to fix. So yeah, let's let's just get right in. So with uh, text labels and text buttons and frames and scrolling frames and all that stuff, all you have to do is to fix this is you have to go down in the properties and just go to the size. And in the size, you it'll just show like this. These numbers right here on the right side of the X and Y are the offset. And you do not want the offset. That is what's the problem. It's simpler, but with the offsets, it doesn't fit on all devices. So I'm going to show you guys how to make how to fix that. So first off, you're just going to want to set the size, the offset size, to zero. And you're going to want if you set the scale to one, this is what happens. It'll just fit your entire screen. So for X, we're just going to set the scale to like 0.3. Okay, that's pretty good. And then for Y, we're just going to set the scale to like 0.4. So that's what we have. This is our new text label. And if we go ahead and click on the emulator now, it'll fit on every device, as you can see. It fits perfectly. It's not, it's not taking up room in the screen, and it fits perfectly. So yeah. And, oh, other things you can do, you can scale the text so that it fits well on everything and yeah and then now to position it all you have to do is you just go to the position up here and then you have to make sure the offset is set to zero and you set the scale to whatever you like so if you want to set it to a certain spot you can just do like a certain spot where you want to do it or if you want to center it you can just drag it and it'll it'll be okay it'll still center perfect perfectly as long as you have the scale right here and not the offset so if we set it in the middle like there it'll be perfect perfectly in the middle for every device so it's in the middle it's in the middle it's in the center yeah so they're all in the center so that's how you do it with a text label and Images are a little bit different, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it with images. So we're just going to go ahead and insert a, a image label, and we're just going to set the image to something cool, like my channel icon. And you can set the, and then just go to what you usually do, where you Set the offset to zero, set the offset to zero for the size, and then set the scale to whatever you like. So let's just do 0 0.5 and 0.5. And then this, and once you have the scale set, you can just change it from here, from here, like this. And then the problem is so the reason why I'm showing you how to do this with images, if you go to the emulator, as you can see, the the uh, value constraints they change, the the x and y values change. So I'm gonna 
show you guys how to fix that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna set the down here below the size. You're gonna set the size constraint to either relative xx or relative yy. Either one of them works. So we're just gonna make this per a perfect square. So let's just set it to a perfect square. Come on, perfect. So that's a perfect image. And then if we now if we go to the emulator it'll be a perfect square on all the devices. So yeah, that's how to fix images. And then, of course, to do the position, you just, you can just change it to whatever you like for the scale, or you can center it, like, just like that. And then there you go. You have your image and your text fully working. So now, if you go to the emulator, It'll fit on every device, like, it'll be pretty big on here, but it'll be about the same, it'll be smaller on, like, a phone or something, but it'll take up just the perfect amount of room. So yeah, that's a pretty simple tutorial, I hope you guys all enjoyed, if you did, please be sure to like this, and also subscribe if you're new, and yeah, thanks for watching, see you later.